Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Blender 2.8 beta version. So let's open up our web browser. We'll type into here Blender 2.8 and we'll go to this website Blender 2.8, which is blender.org and we'll click here and we can see that we can download the Blender 2.8 beta version. So there's quite a big difference between Blender 2.7, the previous version, and 2.8. Although this is running in beta, I have tested it and it's very stable. It seems to be working fine. Obviously, there might be a few issues with it because it's in beta at present, but it's definitely worth downloading and experimenting with. There's a new render engine called EV. It's just like a real-time render engine in the viewport. I've been playing around with this and there's quite a few significant changes in this version of Blender compared to the previous version. It's much more intuitive now, it's much easier to use, especially if you're not familiar with 3D rendering software or familiar with Blender itself. The software really is a, it's just a much better, smoother application and just the way it works is a lot better, I believe. So you can scroll down here and have a look at some of the examples and videos and all the different tools and new features that are available i'm going to be doing some tutorials using blender i haven't used it for a while but i thought i'll get back into blender and start experimenting with it again so i'll be doing some tutorials soon for now we'll click down on on this download button here download blender 2.8 beta and we'll be presented with this screen and we've got windows mac os and linux so select your relevant operating system I'm running um, Windows here. If you're not too sure if you need 32-bit or 64, just go to the search bar down here, type in system, and then click on system information. And inside here, you'll see X64, and that will tell you that you need to download the 64-bit version. If it says 32, then you'll download the 32. So we'll click on this 64 here, and we'll download this. This will take a few seconds to download. I just open up this folder, it's empty at the moment. Okay, the software is downloaded, so I'm just going to drag and drop it into this directory and we'll right click on it and extract the file. We can close down this window here. And now the file has been extracted. Now with the beta version, normally you'll start an executable and it will start installing the software on your machine and put it into your program files. With this beta version, you don't need to do that. You just need to double click on this blender.exe and that will just launch the application straight away. So there's no real installation process at present, but the software works perfectly fine. This is the loading up screen and you get different types of um, project files here. You've got general, 2D, sculpting, VFX and um, video editing. So we'll just click on general for now. Here you can see pretty much what you would normally see in the last version of Blender, but there's all these new tools and these new facilities and it's just a much better design and the layout is much more intuitive. Everything's working quite smoothly. I played around with this for a little while. There's a new render engine in here called Eevee, um, which is basically doing real time rendering inside the viewport here. So we could do something like Control A, insert a plane, we could scale that up, and then we could insert another object like, uh, let's do a UV sphere. You've got these tools over here that are quite intuitive, like Move. So if you hover over these tools, these tools never used to be here, but they were available, but they're normally shortcuts and so forth. So when you click Move, you can see the cursors will appear and you can move objects quite easily. Um, this is a lamp here, right? So this is like a, a light source. And if I click on here, I can see like real time rendering inside the viewport here. So if I move this light source around, you can see it's casting shadows. It's doing all of this in real time. But it was quite difficult to do this before in Blender. It wasn't difficult. There was a different render engine called uh, Cycles. So Cycles is still very good, but it's more to do with like photorealistic rendering. So it takes a lot longer to render using cycles when you're rendering at a frame for an animation. But if we were to use uh, Eevee, then the engine runs much smoother, much quicker, but you won't get like real photorealism. But you'll get very good renders as well. The rendering will still be very good, very clean. So 
I'm going to go around um, in the next few tutorials and experiment with this software. Maybe we'll make some 3D animated logo. If you're watching my YouTube videos at the beginning, you'll see that little DCP spin around. So that I did in Blender. I did that in an older version of Blender. So maybe it's time for me to update that intro. Maybe I'll make a new one um, and we can do a tutorial on that so you can see how I went about making that. So download Blender, go onto YouTube, there's tons of tutorials on Blender, so don't wait for me to make them. You'll find loads there that you can go and play around with. Do searches for Blender 2.8 tutorials, because this is the version that you're going to be using here. And you can go around and play around with it and experiment and see what you think of it, think of the software. Um, it's really powerful stuff, it's free. You can do like, you know, pretty much anything 3d rendered full motion films or just basic animations you can do pretty much anything with this software it's amazing that it's free um you know it's it's really really a great piece of software so go and experiment with that and have a little play around i will like i said i'll be doing some tutorials soon uh, i just need a bit of time to get some time to find that find some time to do that okay so that's how you go about downloading and launching Blender, it's not really installing it like I mentioned. If we close this, you'll see that you just double click on the XE here. You could make a shortcut to that as well. Create a shortcut, you could put that on your taskbar down here if you wanted to, or you can just open up the folder and launch it. We can have that little shortcut running there. Um, okay, so I hope you find that tutorial useful, and I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.